almost 90%. In this tutorial, I will show you how you get of all Windows apps running on Linux with Bottles. Bottles is a layer which uses Wine, which aims to simulate a Windows environment for Windows software. It's an open source project and yeah, let's start with it. I am going to present this tutorial with the PDF 24 creator. I'm not affiliated with this app. I'm also not using it, but I just want to show it as an example how to install a Windows app on Linux with wine bottles. So I click on download here and um, yeah, you can choose a normal exe file or MSI file. That's um, completely okay. Bottles can handle both file types. I'm going here with the exe file 11.10.2 in my case. And um, yeah, let's start the download. Also, let's open up our menu and let's start our software manager here. And in the software manager, I'm searching for bottles. Here we have it. I click on it and click on install. Here we have to install many, many dependencies. This is okay for us. I click on continue and yeah, now bottles is installing. Also, we need the app flat seal with this you can manage flat pack permissions and also the permissions of our bottles application. So I install it too and I click on continue here. And um, yeah, now let's wait until bottles and flat seal are installed. Perfect. All current working packages are now installed and I can close the software manager and let us open up our flat seal manager here and let's wait a minute. Perfect. Now in the flat seal app, let us select bottles as our app and uh, let us scroll down a bit. Here we can see all permissions of the file system. By default, only the downloads folder can be seen of a Windows app in bottles and also bottles only can see the downloads folder. I personally recommend you to use all system files, but this also has the effect that your Windows apps can see your complete files of your computer. But also you can now access USB sticks, other partitions and other devices. If you don't want this, just turn it back off. You can also choose some other permissions, but in my case, I'm going with file system host. So I close bottles and let us open up bottles. Here we see a welcome screen. Welcome to bottles. I click on next. Perfect. And we need um, to download uh, something in uh, bottles. Let us wait for one or two minutes. Perfect. Everything is ready. I click on start using bottles. And I personally recommend to download a different runner beside the default one. I click on the burger menu here at the top right corner. I click on preferences and let us head over to runners here. And I recommend you to install the cafe runner, which um, is based on wine upstream and has the nicest user interface. And in my opinion, the best environment for productive apps for Windows. So let us install the latest one here. This is now done. I close the settings window here and let us head over to bottles. I create a new bottle and I select custom in here and select the and select as runner cafe. That is fine for me. So I can also insert a bottle name. I name it like the app, which is in my case PDF 24 and click on create. Now let us close the window here and here we see our PDF 24 bottle. I click on this one and now we can tap on run executable. I click on dismiss and let us open our downloads folder and here my pdf24creator.exe is located. 
I open this up and now a new installer appears. If you don't find it, just look behind the bottles window, then you see normally the new window. In this case, I click on I accept the agreement, click on next, also on next, just head over with next. I recommend you to don't change anything here unless you really need it and unless you really know what you're doing. So I click also on next and in the end to install. Perfect. Now we are asked to create a free PDF 24 account. In my case, I already have one. So I click on skip here and click on finish. Perfect. Now we have two new entries here, PDF 24 toolbox and launcher. I click on launcher, just click on play. And now here we see a PDF launcher um, with which we can access some tools like the PDF creator, for example, and um, yeah, create some PDFs, merge them, edit them, view them and do everything you want to do with them. That's great. I click on a close and um, now in the end I want to don't launch the PDF launcher in the bottles window here. I want to open it in the start menu. So I click on the right side here and select add desktop entry. This is now done. And if you allowed file system host, then everything worked fine. Otherwise you have to type in a special terminal command, but you will get advice to that. So um, that's very easy also for you. And now in the menu, if I search for PDF launcher, we see here PDF 24 launcher, I click on it and um, yeah, now started from my normal start menu and can use this PDF 24. Perfect. That's great. I hope I could help you with this video and let me know it in your comments, which application did you run successfully in it. And a last tip, if your bottle needs some special dependencies, look into the dependencies option here of your bottle and here you can install some important libraries, for example, .NET framework. We can see it here. We have many .NET versions and this is very helpful for you to get your Windows apps running. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.